hello guys so um, this is another quick tutorial on how I do my black and white really grungy really uh, Clayton-esque type of photos uh, this is a friend of mine uh, he's a photographer as well his name is Bernard Carlo he's a documentary photographer and, and um, he came up to the studio one day and we did the shoot so um, here it goes this is this is the before and this is the after so this is what we're going for okay let me just close that up cool so the first thing i like to do is clean up the image um right off the bat what i want to do is take out these um these lines under his eye the eye bag so so um i'm going to do that with the patch tool Okay, that's good enough. Take out the mark. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so next step, I'm going to turn this image black and white. So um, I go to the uh, adjustment layer, uh, black and white. Okay, so. Now I'm going to duplicate that black and white layer and then turn the bottom one, turn the blend mode to, change the blend mode rather to uh, overlay. Okay, so it gives it this rich black and white um, feel. So that's a good point, a good starting point for me. And then what I'm going to do next is use my um, Dodge and Bone too. Okay, so that's the trick to getting um, to how I do the to how I get how I get the grunge look. Anyway, so I'm just going to do a lot of Dodge and Bone, tons and tons of Dodge and Bone. Um, so I'm gonna just do that. Um, and then notice my exposure is set all the way to 100. So I'm just gonna, you know, with my dodge and bone to try and, you know, just as much as I can define a lot of the features in, in his face. And, uh, Okay. So again, what I like to do is, you know, really enhance the spots uh, in the face. Yeah. Just to give it some... some type of feel. Uh, So you can see that all I'm doing is just <coughs> dodging and bunny. Yeah. Just 
touching the area a bit. Um, it's gonna brighten up a little bit just to further highlight the um, the backlighting. Okay, looks good enough. Um, next thing I'm going to do is add some contrast to it. So I'm going to push contrast all the way, see? So it brings it more, more alive. Okay. And then the final thing I'm going to do is over sharpen it. Oh, sorry. Um, filter, sharpen and sharp mask. Yeah, um, let's do two, two hundred, two hundred and three. Yep, and that's it. So yeah, guys, um, it's just a whole lot of touch and burn, um, and um, a lot of contrast and a lot of sharpening. There you go.